Eleanor Stewart helped me enormously in Montreal. I don't know if we've spoken about that before. Yeah. And who was Eleanor Stewart? Eleanor, Eleanor Stewart was a wonderful actress uh, who was Canadian. She had been a friend of my, one of my aunts. Uh, she was a very good golfer, as my aunt was. And it was sort of strange that Eleanor was so dedicated and to the whole idea of verse and teaching young actors how to speak. She was a great voice coach. She taught John Colicus and all of the young people how to, and you know he had a great voice. And everything he, he did, he, he accredited to Eleanor, who brought that huge instrument out. And um, she did, a, I, I did a little work with her. I didn't work with her as long as John had. I wish I had, because I would have had maybe a, as good a voice as John had. He had the best voice in this country. He had the best vocal technique of anyone. And um, she, she was absolutely remarkable, and one of the best I've ever had. And she worked with you one-on-one, -on -one, or she worked with you in a class, or how did it work? She did both, but usually it was one-on-one. -on -one. And she'd make you go over a line over and over and over again until you simplified it down to just wonderful. And did she ever act? Oh, yes, yeah, she was a very good actress, and she'd, she'd actually, I don't know if she, what she had done in London, but she worked with um, a wonderful old actor who played Disraeli on the screen. He had a monocle, George Arliss. And he, she had done The Merchant of Venice with George Arliss in repertory in America. And she'd done all sorts of other plays. Uh, I think she was in Old English with him, too. And there was one of his old plays that he toured with. And of course, they came back through Montreal uh, in the 30s, I think, was the last time he, he appeared. And she was in the company playing the leading ladies. And then she just stayed. Right. And uh, she and Herbie Whitaker were, were, were close. And uh, he would have recommended her as being one of the top voice coaches in this country, or anywhere for that matter. I think she was wonderful. 